The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how you can draw the front steps in the front elevation and we're doing the final cabin project in chapter 12 in your technical drafting book. So we've already got them drawn over here to the side and if you recall this is a six inch rise so we've actually got four inches here and then we've got two inches from that two by twelve so it's a total of six inches but it's really a two by four and then it's a two by twelve on top of that so what I'm gonna actually come over here and do is just draw my two by four and I'm gonna draw the nominal size two inches by four inches not the real size which is actually uh, one and a half by three and a half I'm just gonna make it um, two by four and draw a little X on it. There we go. And now I'm going to just copy that guy. I'll just pick him up over here. We'll take him all the way to the other edge of the porch. So I've already projected these lines down from where uh, the porch stops or where the porch starts and then where the porch ends. So now that I've got it right here, there's a few different options. The book actually asks us to use the divide command, which is a perfectly fine way to do it. Um, if we did the divide command, and I can, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that just to show you how it works. We're going to divide it into one, two, three, four segments. Is that right? So I'm going to do um, a line just straight across the top here. And we're going to do draw, divide. It's this guy right here and then it says select the object to divide and then tell it how many segments you want it to be in. So we want it to be in four segments. And you can't really see what happens here, but if you come down and um, show that menu bar so we can get the format pull down, and you come to point style, right now it's just a dot, but you can choose any one of these and it'll show you that it puts nodes right where you need them. And so with those nodes, now I can just come over here and copy one of these guys, pick it up right here. Let's make sure that the node O-snap is turned on, which it is. And now I can just snap to here, snap to here, and snap to here. It's not that it actually broke the line into those pieces, it just put nodes. See, it's still one continuous line. It just put nodes right there where I needed them. So that is certainly one way that you can do it. Come back when you're done and erase those nodes out. Another way you could have just snapped, you know, made a copy command, snap to the midpoint of that line, and then snap to the mid between two points. No right or wrong, wrong way to do it. We're just going to go with what the book says. Um, now that we've got the 2x4s in place, I'm just going to do an offset of 2 inches. So that 2x12 is really 2 inches thick. So that looks good. And really, let's just go ahead and copy what we've got. No point in drawing it all over again. Let's just copy it. So we'll take this whole thing, copy it up one more level, and that's it. I've just drawn the steps. Oops, I forgot my little guy over here in my copy. There we go. All right, that's it. I've got the steps drawn for that front elevation. So it looks good, and I believe I'm pretty much done with this front elevation here. So um, now the next step is just to label this thing, put the dimensions on it, and you're pretty much all set. I believe both elevations are pretty much done. All right.